it's sad. Uh, it's kind of mildly embarrassing. <laughs> Hey there, Coach Devin here. Jillian Michaels. Jillian Michaels from The Biggest Loser fame. She is talking cardio in one of her new videos and she's telling you all the do's and don'ts of cardio and whether it's good or bad. And we are about to respond to Jillian Michaels right about now. All right, before we get going, please hit the like and subscribe down below. Please share this with your friends. I make these videos because I'm trying to help people get more fit and be more active. Uh, this is my passion. I own a gym, as you can see behind me, and, uh, and I have been a trainer for 27 years. It's a long time, I know a little bit about health and fitness, and, uh, and that's why I'm gonna critique Jillian Michaels right about now. Now, Jillian Michaels, we all remember. There's Jillian Michaels, she sprang to fame because she was on The Biggest Loser. Uh, the Biggest Loser was obviously a, a show that was incredibly uh, popular. People lost a ton of weight on it. Jillian Michaels was the rock star of The Biggest Loser. That's who she was. Uh, and she's made a video on cardio. And she's talking a little bit about cardio, the do's and don'ts of cardio, and what she thinks of cardio. Uh, I gotta tell you, it's, uh, it's disappointing. It's sad. Uh, it's kind of mildly embarrassing for Jillian. To, for me to even watch this video because I'm a fitness professional. I feel like uh, Jillian should be a fitness professional too. And uh, I gotta tell you, this video falls far, far short of being a fitness professional. Now, number one, Jillian talks a lot about efficiency in this video. She keeps talking about how cardio is not the most efficient exercise out there. It's not as efficient as hit. It's not as efficient as this. It's not as efficient as that. Okay, first off, right off the gun here, I will, I'll be honest with you. 100% because I, I believe in being honest. Number one, you do cardio because you're trying to burn some extra calories and you want to make your heart stronger. That's the reason you do cardio. That's why it's called cardio, which stands for cardiovascular. It means you're trying to get more healthy, your heart being more healthy. It is important that your heart is healthy. Will your heart get healthy during HIIT training? Yeah, a bit, but steady state cardio, longer term cardio is important for that. It just is. Those are the facts. So everybody should do some cardio every week, somewhere between about 80 and 150 or so minutes of cardio a week will be good. You could do that from going for a you know, brisk walk. You can run, you can go for a hike, you can bike. There are a million things you can do for cardio. And you know, that's a good thing. We, we want that. We want some variety and some interest. It's important, it's important. Jillian doesn't believe that. And she says the word efficient like 50 times. Well, maybe I'm exaggerating a little touch. She may not have said it 50 times, but she says it a lot. She keeps going on about the efficiency of cardio and how inefficient it is and how terrible it is. In fact, at one point in this video, and I know I'm getting a little off track on the critique, but she says she would rather stick needles in her eyes. I'm not, I'm not making this up. This is an actual quote. Needles in her eyes rather than doing wind sprints. That's a little much. I know Jillian gets off on the, you know, she's the big, bad, biggest loser, screaming your face, saliva spitting all over you, hollering, Looney Tunes, making people cry. That's what she does as a trainer. That's not what trainers do. This is not what we do. It just, it isn't what we do. If someone treats you like that, they're abusive. Jillian uh, is, is playing a role on television. It's, it's embarrassing. And it's more embarrassing to hear her say, talk about sticking needles in her eyes. I can guarantee you, if someone gave you the option to stick a needle in your eye or do wind sprints, you're gonna take the wind sprints every day, Jillian. Stop being an idiot. You sound like a moron. You just, Jillian Michaels, you sound like a moron. You should be better than this. Stop it. All right, now let's talk about the actual things that she's getting into. Now she's big on, obviously she thinks that, you know, she's what she's doing is she's taking weight work Resistance training, which is important, very important, I believe in it, versus cardio, and she's saying, you know, cardio not efficient, you're not gonna burn as many calories, we wanna build muscle. Yes, you wanna do that. You actually have to do both things. You have to do cardio, and, and you have to lift weights. It's important, both of them are important. For a long life, you need cardio. For your heart, Jill, it's for your heart. That's why we do cardio. Jillian seems to be a little confused, and part of the thing that she's confused about is the fact that Jillian is talking about everything to do with how you look. 
She's not talking about being healthy. She's talking about how you look. So she's like, oh, hip training is better or whatever. Squats, they're going to be better. They'll do something for your butt. Okay, that's nice, Jillian. That is true. But just because I look good does not mean that I'm going to live a long time. And if I don't live a long time, what is the point of any of this stuff? I mean, really, what is the point? So that is the, that's the issue that I have right there. She's, she's equating how someone looks, whether or not they have abs or look pretty or whatever, in comparison to whether or not they're healthy. And they're, and they're kind of two different things at some points. You need to be healthy in order to look good because if you're unhealthy, you won't look good. So cardio, it's necessary for your heart. It is important for your heart. Jillian's being ridiculous on this. Now, she does get into this whole kick during this video where she said, well, cardio is good for extreme weight loss. If you have a ton of weight to lose, then yeah, do some cardio. But it's not really good for anything else. You have a little bit of weight to lose. Uh, what? <laughs> All right. I'm a little confused. Let's do that again. It's good if you have an extreme amount of weight to lose. Cardio, great. If you have a little bit of weight to lose, cardio, bad. Makes no sense. That makes no sense because of the fact losing weight is just losing weight. If I have 300 pounds to lose, 100 pounds to lose, or 10 pounds to lose, cardio will be helpful for that. And again, I'm not saying that cardio is king. There's been lots of times that I've seen people get, you know, on cardio equipment and they do that cardio all day long, long periods. You don't need, like I said, 80 to 150 minutes of mild to moderate, you know, some sort of cardio every week where you're getting sweating and your heart is, is raised. That is what is going to help you, A, burn calories because that's the point, and B, it is going to be good for your heart, which is the important part. That's what we're getting into. But for some reason, Jillian really gets off on these wild tangents where she's all about the abs and, the, and your butt and whether or not is it efficient, efficient or not efficient. Look, everything in fitness is about working at, is, is about like efficient in, in fitness has to do with whether or not you're getting where you want to go. Do you want a strong heart? Well, I don't think there's anybody out there going, you know what, I'd like to. Devin, I'd, I'd like you not to have a strong heart. I don't want a strong heart. Strong hearts sound bad to me. No one's saying that. Jillian shouldn't be saying that, but for some reason she's not. She's not concentrating on the fact that cardio stands for cardiovascular, which means getting your heart strong. If your heart is strong, then guess what? You're in a better place. No, she's completely ignoring all that stuff. Look, at the end of the day, what you need is both weights, you need resistance training and you need cardio. You need both things. You can't get by with just one. No one can. I get it. She said the really the only good point, and this is one of the things that Jillian talks about, the only good point of cardio is if, if you're an endurance athlete, yes, you have to do cardio, but outside of that, you don't really need to. That's stupid. That is just, it's stupid. It's nonsensical. It doesn't, it, it's dumb for her to say it as a fitness professional. And I, and you know what, let's, let's put some quotes around that as a fitness professional. She's not a fitness professional. She is a made up trainer for TV. She is someone spouting a whole lot of stuff. And basically she's saying to you, you shouldn't have to do cardio to be healthy and fit. I'm sorry. You do. You need to do some sort of cardio because if you don't do some sort of cardio, bad things are going to happen. You will not have a strong heart. If you don't have a strong heart, bad things are going to happen because you will have heart problems. You will die younger. It is important to have some cardio in your life. Everybody, everybody needs it. Sorry, Jillian. It's, it, when it comes down to it, what frustrates me the most, honestly, about Jillian Michaels here is as what a, a claim to be a fitness professional, she should know better. She should just know better. This is not rocket, this stuff is not rocket science. You're not about to stick needles in your eyes. That's a stupid, stupid thing to say. I know the hook on The Biggest Loser was spit flying and you screaming and people crying because you yelled at them. You're abusive. You're acting like an ass. You acted like an ass on The Biggest Loser. I think you're better than that. You should be better than that. But this video is showing you're not better than that. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> As a professional, I do this for a living. This is what I do. I own a gym. What you're doing is ridiculous. It is catering to people and you're just looking for a hook so that people can say, oh, I saw Jillian and she said I didn't have to do any cardio. Well, that's nice, but it's not true. And you know what? You're actually going to hurt people. You're gonna not, they will not be as fit because of the things you're doing. Sure, hit training is great. Sprints are great. Lots of things are great, but steady state cardio also has a place in fitness. It just does.
And anybody who says different is not telling you the truth. Jillian, you should know better. Stop pandering to the masses and trying to get clicks on YouTube or whatever. Just tell the truth. Try telling the truth. It would be amazing if you did. Because if you told the truth, then you know what? We'd probably be more likely to listen to you in the future. If you have comments, questions, things you want me to talk about, write them up down below. I'd love to hear from you. I make these videos because I'm trying to help people. I have a passion for fitness. I actually know what I'm talking about. A little different than Jillian. I actually will give you good advice, not stupid advice. So please, like, subscribe, share this with your friends. Hopefully, it'll help them get more fit too. Have yourself an amazing day, everybody. Don't fight the awesome.